It's amazing, man. Like you've just come such a long bloody way from where you were. And I think it's just so inspiring for people because a lot of people don't have hope and a lot of people are thinking that there's mm. nothing that they can do. And a lot of people in the situation that you were in a year ago are still waiting for that magic pill. They're still hoping that there's something outside out there, over there, that's going to magically come and fix them overnight. What would yeah. you like to say to them, you know, if you'd like to depart some wisdom? You can recover, you can improve, you can feel better if you make some changes and you need to, I guess, look at how you're living your life, your habits, your diet, your sleep, your hydration, stress, mindset. Yeah, definitely. Positive mindset. And if you can put all those things together, you'll start to recover. It's really hard. And I guess I want to say that I'm fortunate in that I haven't had to go back to work that I am not a single parent who has to look after kids mm. I'm fortunate and very really thankful that I've got a really supportive family who've looked after me and, and helped me to recover and I know not everyone has that and that's hard and I can't imagine how hard it would be for people in that situation but if you can make some changes you can feel better what's your advice for people who are just having a bad day you know what I mean like they're working on their recovery. There might be even people in our program who have been going good for a couple of weeks and then, you know, a couple of bad days happen. What's your advice to them to get yeah. through this bad day? Just take it one day at a time. I'm sure I've got that written on one of my cards somewhere. One day at a time, one step at a time. You know, you have a bad day, that's okay. Just resolve to do better the next day. And, you know, if you've had a bad day, what caused your bad day? How can you avoid that going forward? You know, if it's stress at work hopefully there's a way you can avoid being so stressed you can get more sleep you can drink more water you can rest more have your own little methods of staying calm and positive whether it's your breathing exercises or a little bit of exercise or reading a book or watching a tv show do something that will help you to get out of your negative mindset and start again the next day this is gold, by the way. Thank you so much for being here and just sharing this on behalf of everyone who's listening right now. I think they're so thankful. You're in change management. You know, your expertise is change management. I feel like acceptance of one person's current struggle is possibly the hardest thing to uh -huh. change. You know, you got to the point where you were able to accept where you're at in a pretty bad state. And that was really the pivotal moment for you to go to the lowest bottom and kind of work your way back up. Have you got any advice for people who are just so struggling to accept where they're at? You know, like they're just not accepting where they're at. They're beating themselves up all the time and they're pushing mm -hmm. themselves too hard or they're in self-denial. You said to me before the call, you know, I just got to the point, Toby, where I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired have you got any advice yeah. for people to accept where they're at i guess my question would be how bad do you want to change if your life is really shit if you're feeling like shit every day if you want to change that then you need to change you need to look at yourself and figure out what you can change to make your health better to avoid stress to live a better life how can you improve yourself I'm just saying you got to actually do it. And for me, it was, it was my cards. It was giving myself a message, not one message, but 50 messages every day to embrace the change, talk myself through how I will get through the change and be the change. Because I know, I know change is hard for a lot of people. People are very resistant to change, but sometimes change is forced upon you. Like when you got sick, nobody wanted that change, but mm. you can't really fight it. If you fight it, you end up worse. So change you need to look at yourself and change and also have the courage to ask for help if you've got family and friends there's always people that are offering help but we're always too stubborn to say yes i need help people just say no i'm, I'm fine i can get through it but if people are offering to help you cook a meal or pick your kids up after school then mm. just say yes thank you bloody hell that would be awesome. Be grateful that people are helping you and, and, and take it, take the help. 
almost like taking the guilt away from everything. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, don't feel guilty about being sick. No one's made you be sick. You know, it's not your fault. There's something that's triggered it and it's not your fault. Uh, you don't have to feel guilty about it, but you do have to work to recover, to get better. It's not just going to happen 